everyone and welcome once again to Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Today I will be reviewing the Mutura Royal Vintage. This is uh, I guess basically a Corona size cigar although they called it a Dumo Dolce which is a five and a half by 44 ring gauge cigar. Um, to me basic Corona. This cigar is made at Tabacalera de Garcia in the Dominican Republic and uses Dominican and Brazilian long fillers and has a Connecticut shade grown wrapper. And then it's aged in Spanish cedar. Not a whole lot going on on the wrapper. General tobacco type note. Nothing outstanding. And nothing really to pick out. Foot, once again, not much there. Subtle, subtle hints of spice. Very subtle. Alright. Well, this is where I would normally put my cigar. However, I've got to get up for a second because I left my cutter on the other side of the room. Excuse me. Tobacconist in Roanoke, Virginia, for uh, just under eight dollars. Clip a little more off. I tell you, I could still stand to have a little more clipped off. There's a lot of cap in there. Hate to do it, but there we go. That looks better. Still. The draw is a bit snug. Now, it's been my experience, although not necessarily everyone's, but personally my experience, <coughs> that these thinner ring gauge cigars, for me, have a tighter draw in general. But could be just me because after all I am a <clears throat> not a whole lot to the band it's kind of plain Jane get a better look at that here yeah, it doesn't want to focus on it but anyway not a whole lot to it <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me just enough spice in there tip of my throat. And I'm told this is a pretty mild cigar. I will be pairing it with Evan Williams Single Barrel Vintage 2008 Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is one of my go-to whiskeys. I absolutely love this stuff. everything a Kentucky straight bourbon should be. Now let's see if I have any butane in my kettle lighter. I do. Good. Being a small ring gauge, I didn't want to overpower it with a torch lighter. However, being that the draw is a little tight, I might have to. Um, Speaking of the draw, I didn't mention it while I was trying to draw on it, but there's a little bit of leather in there, a little bit of spice, but nothing that really stands out. Very subtle. Get toasted up here. I 
help me get my torch lighter out. And there's no point in rushing lighting your cigar. Take your time. Torch lighters are great, they really are, but you know, the point of smoking a cigar is to relax. And the lighting of the cigar is all part of the relaxation. If you get all bent out of shape because it's taking a while to light your cigar, you got bigger problems. You can't take a couple minutes, get a good light, nice toast, good light, nice and even, without scorching all the tobaccos within. You're not going to get all the pleasures that any given cigar may offer. Rotate it around. Make sure it's lit evenly. It's looking pretty good. Give that a shot. It's looking pretty good. Draw is still pretty tight. Sometimes it'll loosen up when you light it. Pretty firm pack, although as it's heating up towards the foot, it is softening up a bit. But other than that, the pack feels about right throughout, maybe a little bit on the tight side, a little bit. Sometimes you can carefully and gently massage the cigar to loosen it up a little bit. Too much, you don't want to hear it cracking and breaking and splitting and everything else. Good dose of pepper on the initial lighting. Fairly powerful. Bit of a surprise. It had been indicated to me that this was a rather mild cigar. Alright, I'm going to continue smoking this and uh, let it heat up a bit and I'll come back somewhere in the first third, see you in a bit. Here we are, in the first third. Still a very tight draw, I've been massaging it, and while it feels like physically the cigar is loosening up, it's becoming pretty soft really and it's heating up quite a bit and I'm sure that's because it's plugged and all the heat's concentrated below the plug point making the tobacco very soft and pliable but even in the on the head of the cigar I, I've got I've got it quite soft and it's still a very very tight draw I have found that inserting it a little further back into my mouth coax a little bit more airflow through it, but it's annoying. Uh, I'm missing out on flavors that would otherwise be there because of the tight draw. I dare not clip any more off the head because I don't think it'll do any good, and then it'll start to unravel. I've got a pretty good size opening on this. But I am starting to pick up a little bit of dry cedar, kind of a, a spicy cedar. A little bit of mineral. They're soft, they're subtle. Not a whole lot to the flavors. And it's a, a, a pretty mild smoke. Uh, not necessarily the most mild I've ever smoked but it's, uh, it's up there with 
uh, the mild use of cigars. I've had more mild than uh, Romeo and Juliet, the natural. Um, I'm trying to think what other mild cigars I've had. That, that's the first one that comes to mind. That's a pretty mild cigar, but it's more flavorful. Um, and I attribute my difficulties to the narrow ring gauge. Um, like I said, I typically don't smoke this narrow of a ring gauge because of the draw issues that I typically tend to have with narrow ring gauge cigars. I guess it's just my bad luck. I don't know. Uh, some people rave about the narrow ring gauge and say they never have any draw issues. I've never had a narrow ring gauge draw at all superbly. At best, uh, I've had an acceptable draw. At best. So, I'm going to continue smoking this. I'll come back somewhere in the second third. Here I am in the second third. Really hasn't been any changes. Still a tight draw. Still a uh, the scar is pretty warm. The flavors are very subtle, mild. A little bit of pepper in there. Maybe a maybe a white pepper. A little bit of cedar spice. Subtle, subtle hints of mineral. This could be a, a, a decent cigar if the draw wasn't so tight and the flavors would come forward a little bit more. Might even pick up some other flavors. The tight draw is probably the most disappointing part of this cigar. Nice crisp burn line. A little bit wavy, but not too bad. It's, it's fairly even. Pretty consistent with the burn. Haven't had to touch it up at all. Hasn't gone wonky at all. Nothing crazy. Uh, ashes off in, I don't know, three quarter inch chunks, something like that. Pairing nicely with the Ed Williams single barrel, which is 2008. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. buttery, caramely, vanilla character, subtle hints of spice, a little bit of oak. Very smooth. Just the right amount of spice to complement this cigar. I'll continue smoking this and I'll come back somewhere in the final third. In a bit. Final third. The draw seems to be opening up slightly. has cooled down a little bit because of the improved draw. I did manage to drop some of the ash in my lap, about a half inch or so chunk. Uh, wrapper's holding together nicely, no issue there. No splitting or crackling or unraveling or blistering or any of those nuisances. Burn has remained, in fact, even improved. It went from being uh, slightly wavy to near perfect. And it's a nice crisp burn line, pretty darn straight.
still a pretty mild cigar. A little bit of pepper in there. A little hint of mineral. And very subtle cedar spice. The only downside is that tight draw. Which is a shame. I think the cigar could really improve if the draw was improved dramatically. But I'll continue smoking this. I'll come back in the nub with my final thoughts and impressions. Unofficial score. I'm not using a scoring sheet, so I just pull a number out of thin air that seems to represent my overall feelings about the cigar. Yeah. Here I am in the nub. smoke is becoming warm. A little bit of a bite on my tongue. And I attribute that once again to the tight draw. Although it did seem to loosen up a little bit in the final third. It's becoming snug again as I approach the nub. I have probably two inches of cigar here from the burn line all the way to the cut. Very tight draw. Having a hard time getting anything through it. Nothing's changed as far as flavor profile. One dimensional. A little bit of that white pepper, cedar spice, a little bit of mineral in there. All very pleasant flavors. They go together nicely, converged in this mild smoking package, pairing nicely with the other Williams. What I recommend the cigar to? Just about anybody, really. A novice could appreciate relatively low price point of about eight dollars. I've been smoking this for about an hour. And there's probably 10 to 15 minutes worth of uh, smokability left in this cigar. And all of us could appreciate the mild quality of the cigar. The flavors are subtle, but they're there, and hopefully not all of these cigars will have a tight draw. I may pick up another one of these in a larger ring gauge. An aficionado could appreciate, once again, the low price point is about $8. If you like a mild cigar, this would be one for you. If you don't like a cigar that has a lot of changes, this would be one for you. Some people like one-dimensional cigars that don't change throughout the smoking of the cigar. I like changes, but I can appreciate a cigar that is very even keeled, very consistent throughout from the time it's lit until the time I lay to rest in the ashtray. Both uh, a novice and an aficionado could appreciate that the ash isn't loose and flaky flying all over the place making a mess, although I did manage to drop a half inch chunk in my lap because I was on my phone doing some uh, extracurricular research on uh, a 
totally separate subject. As I often do when I'm smoking a cigar. What would I rate the cigar? As it stands, maybe an 88 out of 100, which means I would definitely give the cigar another shot. Hopefully, uh, these aren't plagued with tight draws throughout the line across the board. If they are, I'll quickly find that uh, in my next two or possibly three samplings of this over the course of the next several months. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends in Finland, Donnie and Skeddy. I hope you're weathering the harsh winters of Finland. Long nights, short days, cold weather. I feel for you, brothers. You know it's uh, hard to keep your spirits up when it's dark all the time and cold and nasty. And with uh, all the new rules and regulations making it harder and harder across the globe, for us cigar smokers, people in Finland are feeling the crunch. I also like to give a shout out to my friend in Florida, Victor Esposito. Uh, he just asked me in a, a message on my phone what I thought of this cigar. You have a couple in your humidor. Say, give him a shot. They're a, a, a pleasant cigar. Hopefully, yours won't be played with a tight draw. Let me know. So I thank you for once again watching Scorpion Cigar Reviews. Catch you next time.